Hello everyone, my name is Kunal Basin and I'm one of the trainers at English Vice. Um, this video is all about the scrap image, which is one of the most important questions in the exam, most particularly in the speaking section. The scrap image um, is the third type of question you get in the speaking section. Now, many people are confused about what the scrap image is because in the exam like IELTS, you have 20 minutes to do the questions and you have to describe the image by writing it down. But in PT, it's a lot different. So now we will get into the technicality of what the scrap image is. Uh, basically, you will have 25 seconds uh, to look at the image and once the microphone um, opens, uh, for which you will hear the beep sound, you have to speak up for about 40 seconds and describe the image. Now, you can get any type of image. Uh, you can get a graph, which means a line graph, bar graph, um, pie chart, or it can be a mixture as well. Um, you can also get tables, um, pictures, Venn diagrams, maps, uh, could be different continents, different countries, or even a process cycle. So now talking about the scoring part for the scribe image, basically you are marked on three bases, uh, fluency, your pronunciation, and your content. So what is fluency? Fluency means that you are describing the image without taking random pauses or long pauses and without any hesitations. Um, then you got the pronunciation. Pronunciation means how clear with you, are, with you are with your content. So just follow your natural pace um, and you'll be fine with this. Then you have the content. Content means how are you describing the image and if you're able to cover everything you see on the image. For each of them, um, it's out of five marks. So again, it will just depend how well you do in each of these three sections. So a um, little bit more how to be better in describe image. Uh, when you have the 25 seconds given to you, just prepare the content beforehand. So when the recording actually starts, um, you are more confident and you can actually clack crack it. Um, then um, just be loud and very clear and just follow your natural pace for this. Um, avoid any pauses in between since it will really affect your fluency. Okay guys, so since we discussed before that you can get various types of images in the exam. Now you can either follow a template or you can just describe the image in your own words. Now you are speaking in front of a computer so it doesn't really matter which way you go but I think you'll be more confident if you're following the template. There are many templates out there, but I will be using one for the demo over here. So I will begin describing a graph. There is a picture in front of me. I've got 40 seconds to talk about this picture. Let me have a closer look at this picture. While having a closer look, I can see several trends are emerging on this picture. On the screen, I can see different shapes, sizes, colors, and numbers. On the screen, I can see different colors, such as black and white. On the screen, I can see average annual number of days of air and ground frost in 1981 to 2010. On the screen, I can see January, February, and March. On the screen, I can see April, May, and June. On the screen, I can see July, August, and September. On the screen, I can see October, November, and December. On the screen, I can see 0, 5, and 10. On the screen, I can see 15, 20, and 25. Overall, the graph is really informative. Now, as you just saw, I didn't try to explain the trends or anything. I just simply picked up the words. And that's how you have to do in the exam as well. Really, it's all about your uh, pronunciation and your fluency. So final tips for you guys for, you, for doing the describe image would be, when picking up the words from the image, don't go, go for the words which you cannot pronounce properly because as I just explained, uh, it's all about your fluency and your pronunciation. Also, when you have that 25 seconds given to you, you have to use it very wisely and you have to think about, about the content beforehand so you're not really hesitating when the time or the recording actually starts. So now I hope that the phobia you had for describe image before watching this video is gone now and then you are more confident when you go for exam. Thank you very much guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any other questions just leave the comment below. Thank you.